Yo, what's up my friends? Hello to the YouTube. What's going on? We're at this lovely, lovely little park. Well, it's not really a park, but you can walk in it. It's a nice woodland. You see behind me, the sun's out. It was a horrible day yesterday. I was gonna film this yesterday, but it was raining. Um, but today we are here for the iPhone 6 camera review. Yes, it's probably my first proper review. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I've got the iPhone 5 with me as well, so i would do some comparisons on that. Um, yeah, so we're going to shoot some, some photos on the iPhone 6 and we're going to use the time lapse and stuff like that and slow-mo um, but I'll cut the videos up separately um, so it's easier to watch for you guys. So yeah, let's get started. So I've got the um, iPhone 6 in my hand at the moment and I have this iPhone 5. It's not a 5S, it's just a 5 so we can get a good comparison out of the two cameras. Um, it's not a full review on the iPhone 6, it's just a review on the camera. They're both updated to ISO 8 software. So yeah, we can get some really nice exposure detail with the camera on this. And um, you can tap to focus in the sun up there, go down. Also you can use this little toggle here to adjust your exposure. Down for darken and up to lighten. So get it right. Take the shot. Another one here, and I'm going to swap to the other camera, the iPhone 5. Put the brightness up. Always um, shoot with your brightness on the highest, so you know what you're looking at. A lot smaller, and also the the wideness has gone down a little bit as well. But you can still tap to focus. As I said, it's got the same software. So get happy with your exposure. Take the shot. this and you should see all those pictures now so I've had the iPhone 6 for about a month now and when I'm holding it it does feel comfortable you know it's not too big it is the iPhone 6 not the plus um, and then when you go down to um, the previous version the iPhone 5 it feels a lot like a 4s you know really small you can put your thumb everywhere all over the screen and you can access it quite easily. Um, but as I said, it's a camera review, so you know the iPhone 6 is going to be a better camera, obviously, because Apple have you know, upgraded it. It's more wide, you can see more through the lens. So it's quite nice here. And after these clips, I should be putting the, the photos next to each other so you can see the comparison. Just on here, you can see on the iPhone 6, it's a lot clearer on the screen. It's a lot easier to shoot. So yeah, the screen on the iPhone 6 is um, bigger than some compact cameras you can get out there with Canon and Nikon. Um, they're probably only about a four inch screen. This is a 4.7 and the iPhone 6 Plus is a 5.5. Um, yeah, like I said, it is very easy to look through and stuff. Um, this is probably, you know, nearer to a, to a compact camera kind of size when you look through the screen. I mean, the camera is, is one of the best out there, I think, on a phone. Um, Android, not too good, but um, Apple is definitely up there with, with the compact cameras nowadays. I would like to see, maybe in, in future, in future models um, and products from Apple, you can change the manual. Um, it'd be quite cool to have um, a manual setting, you know, so you can change your aperture, you can change your shutter speed. There is some apps out there which you can get. There's, this, there's actually an app called Manual where you can change your shutter speed and ISO. But, um, it's an app and you don't know if it's real or fake um, so I don't I haven't really used that I might do a review on it later on so yeah onto the front facing camera um, if you like to take selfies well wow, look at that you can definitely see the colors change let's get down here so you can see it look at the colors there much different. It's a lot bluer in the sky on the iPhone 6 than it is on the iPhone 5. Look at that. Way different. Take a photo of myself. Try and get the same angle. And I'll put those up so you can see them after this. But yeah, very much more saturated on the um, iPhone 6. So wow, yeah. Really nice colours coming through on the iPhone 6. It makes the iPhone 5 look 20 years old. I mean, look at that. 
Amazing colours on this phone. Also, you can see a lot more detail if you bring the phone up close. So yeah, massive improvement there. Oh, the sun is still blaring. Gorgeous day. Right, I'm going to do some close focusing right now. Um, I'm just going to get out close to this object, this lovely log in front of us. Fresh log. Look at that. It's probably about 50 years old. Right, so first I'm going to take some shots on the iPhone 5. Get close up to it. Wow, this looks ancient. I'm going to adjust my exposure. Get it correct. Snap. And to the six. Wow. You can see the difference already, just looking through the lens. Got a nice blur behind as well. So we'll show those now. So yeah, the filter is exactly the same. As I said, it's they both got ISO 8 um, software on here. Um, you can see the difference there. It's just a lot more clearer on the iPhone 6. A lot more. I'm going to try the HDR mode on both cameras. Going to select no filter, so just normal HDR on the iPhone 5. So yeah, it's loaded there. So process the image on this one. You can do the same. HDR on. Much nicer rays coming through from the sun, by the way, from this on this camera. Take the shot. Yeah, so that's almost instant. The iPhone 5 had to load a little bit to process the image. But yeah, much quicker on the iPhone 6. So we'll show those comparisons right now. longer I was on the iPhone 5s and I thought that was a good camera but then going to this it's just insane what you can get on it it's much more clearer much more sharper this just feels like some Nokia So yeah, I had a good time walking around with um, the cameras, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5. Um, so yeah, that pretty much concludes my iPhone 6 camera review um, compared to the iPhone 5. I mean, such a big difference. Apple software has just gone to the roof. Um, really, really crisp quality on this camera. Not so much on this. This just feels really, really ancient now. Um, so yeah, if, if you want to have a phone and a camera, um, I suggest you go for the iPhone 6. Um, I don't know about Android. Um, I've, I've used a couple of their phones. I've used the Nexus 6. Um, it does give a much wider field in the lens, but um, the image quality is not so good. Um, so yeah, the iPhone 6 camera is, is definitely probably one of the best out there on the smartphones um, today. So that concludes my review today on the iPhone 6 camera. Um, so yeah, hope you liked the video. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.